Hello everyone, it's Rockcran. I'm coming to you with another video, and this one, I don't know, it, maybe it's just me, I don't know. Since they announced that uh, Larian Studios is going to do Baldur's Gate 3, I've been pretty hyped. I watch all the videos, I have an email that I get every week from them, and you know, I'm like looking forward to it, but you know, like any, any interested gamer would do you want to see what their last game was and see you know well, how's this game i'm talking about divinity original sin 2 and that's that's what this video is about tonight and it's also about Baldur's gate 3 uh i'm playing on like i don't know the second easiest mode i think because like the classic mode uh, my team just got destroyed every time. In every combat. No matter what we try to do. Oh, we're on fire. Okay, that's cool. Oh, we're all poisoned. That's cool. And we're all dead. In every combat. I don't know how to tactically not let that happen. You know, I can see where the enemies are. And I can sneak my rogue over there. And then I can move the rest of the team up. And they all see the rogue right away and kill her. I'm like, well... What was the point of her sneaking? What's... Yeah. I'm... I can't prejudge Baldur's Gate 3 by... Uh... Divinity Original Sin 2. I can't. It's made by the same company. And I'm hoping they get the mechanics right. Because in uh, Original Sin 2, playing solo... It fucking sucks. Every encounter you're overwhelmed. Like, I have a max of four players. But there's ten, twelve enemies in a lot of encounters, and I can't win. I just can't. And there's no, like, random encounters where you can go to an easy zone and kind of level up. There's none of that. So you have to, like, you have a finite amount of encounters, and you have to go around and find the ones you can win so your guys can level up. And you got to complete a quest here and there. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't feel tactical. It just feels... I feel overwhelmed, and I'm not enjoying it. Uh, I had to turn down the difficulty to pass, like, one of the earlier stages of the game. And I kept it down, because th the game is hard. Because it's never, it's never one on four. You know, you don't ever sneak up on one dude and get to romp on him. Nah, it's always five on four, six on four, seven on four, twelve on four. And each one of these have armor you have to break down. And, you know, while you're breaking down their armor, they're just killing you. With their two attacks around, while well, you only have one. Uh, it, it just, I don't know. I, maybe I have to play on story mode. I used to be a good RPG player. I used to be really, really good at them. I used to beat all of them. But there's no random encounters, so there's no way to level up my boys. You know, without trying these harder ones and getting smacked down all the time, getting completely destroyed all the time. And, you know, the abilities they have, right? The enemies have, like, they throw a fireball at us. And every one of us is lit on fire. I throw a fireball at them, and it's, oh, uh, the, uh, the burning was, uh, it doesn't happen to us, because we have magical armor on. My guys have magical armor on, too, but we get burninated. I don't know. This is a rant, a uh, hate video. I don't want to play the game anymore. It's not fun. I wish I could get my $50 back, but they don't give you the money back when you think the game isn't any fun. I like the story. I do. I mean... The characters are cool. Uh, it's just the combat is... It's unfair. That's, all I, that's the only way I can put it. There's always more of them than there are of you always and 
their effects stick to you or your effects never affect them. Or if an effect affects them, like if I go like, okay, Fane, light all of those assholes on fire. Well, they'd already cast oil on all of us, so we all light on fire too. Yay! I don't know how the how the things are gonna work in Baldur's Gate three, but if it's anything like the last Larian created game, I'm not gonna like it. And that's the point of this video. I mean that's honestly the point of this video. Maybe I suck, but I it can't be me. It can't. The enemy goes first and kills us all. I mean, what the fuck can I do? There's no... How do you be more tactical? How do you use your abilities more... I did get a, a skill book called Rain. I gave it to my sorcerer, right? Now when they light us on fire, he can make it rain. And then they do it the next turn. With arrows from a dude that I can't even see. But he can attack us. Ugh. Ah, I hope this isn't the case with Baldur's Gate, Gate 3. But I think it's going to be. I don't know. Maybe I... It can't be me. It can't be me. It just can't be me. Every combat, you're overwhelmed. The action economy is on the enemy's side every time they have more abilities more armor it, no it's not me it's not me I don't suck at this game the game sucks and that's what it is and if Baldur's Gate 3 sucks it's on Larian it's on Larian Studios and uh, I hope you watch to the end of the video and I hope you like this content uh, this is heartfelt I am not enjoying Divinity Original Sin 2 on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not. I, I, I feel overwhelmed. All the time. First time I saw a Shrieker, it instantly killed my whole party. That's fun. Woo! I, now maybe I'm... Maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe I'm not going to the right places. I don't know what I'm doing. Because the game never really told me what to do. And if anyone out there knows what I'm supposed to do in that game, let me know. Because I don't know. I mean, I got on a boat with a little kid. And we sailed away to the same place that we were. Only on the east side. If, I don't know. Anybody's ever played that game and you're trying to figure a way to the east side? Uh, well, fuck. Took me forever to figure it out. But I'm glad I did because it gave me a chance to level my guys up to level four. And maybe I'm too low level to be in that zone. I don't know. It The game doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't help you very much. And... I mean, Baldur's Gate 1 didn't tell you shit but if the, the ground's rumbling and you don't see the enemy don't go near there unless you think you could take on a giant <laughs> I mean that's old school game design though this is modern game design there's things about it I love you know absolutely love about it but you know every combat every enemy knows exactly who has the most hit points on my team they already know and they kill that guy in like two turns and there's no chance I have to even use his abilities because they put him on ice they poison him if it's my undead guy that helps him but it's just not fun it's it's not funny it's not fun it, it isn't enjoyable to me and I put in maybe 15, 20 hours. And I'm not having any fun. I had to reduce the difficulty just to beat like six guys. Because if I went against them on classic difficulty, I got rocked every time. And I have a fighter, mage, rogue, and thief. I have the classic D&D &D party that should be able to overcome any challenge. 
But not in that game. I I honestly don't know. I don't know. It could just be me. Maybe my old man gaming uh, abilities aren't there. But it's a turn-based RPG. It can't be me. It just can't. <laughs> I know who to attack. I, I, I target individuals every time. Take down this dude. Then take down that dude. Then take down that. Uh, but all my guys are dead before we can even enact the strategy. It's it's awful. Thank you, Larian Studios, for nothing. And that's going to be the name of this video. Uh, I probably already signed out. Because I was... Eh, anyhow. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's informative for you. If you want to buy Baldur's Gate 3, just know what this studio is about at least in my experience I've only played two of their games the first one Divinity their very first game I don't even know what I'm doing in that game there's it's less than Dark Souls in Dark Souls you, you can move around and do stuff in that game you just go out and get in your first fight and you die it's game over so I'm not sure exactly what they were going for with that game in this game I got a group of adventurers together. We're we're level four. We've done adventures and shit. It ain't enough. It isn't enough. We have items. I guess I should use my items more. I don't know. But we're always overwhelmed, numbers-wise. And the enemies are always stronger and tougher than us. So... I don't... I just don't know how fun that is. Now, if it, like in in Dark Souls and stuff, I expect the enemy, to, one enemy, to be stronger and tougher than me when I get to the boss, right? This is just a random group of enemies, just random, random group of enemies. Eh. None fun. Uh, so yeah. This is where I peace out on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I I hope you guys had a better experience with uh, Divinity uh, 2 than I have had. I'm going back to it. I know I am. It's just... I I hate it right now. I'm completely and utterly fed up. You know, I got my four fourth level dudes, and there's six to eight seventh level dudes trying to kill us, and they always succeed. And I've turned the difficulty down. But the numbers, it's a numbers game. Uh, there's a Matt Colville video uh, talking about D&D. &D. He talks about, like, the action economy in this game, it's you only get one action, you know. So, if there's four of you and seven of them, they have seven actions to your five actions. And I'll tell you what, it gets worse in Divinity because most of the time my guys can get two attacks, but if they move one meter, they can only get one. And the enemies can move all the way across the battlefield and attack me twice. I don't... I, they got a lot more action points. Because they're much higher level. I think. I don't know. Because I don't know the mechanics of the game that well. But I think that's the idea. But they can run across the battlefield and attack twice. They can move position. Like My main character is a dwarf, right? I shouldn't have picked a dwarf. Because he can't go anywhere and do anything. He's always stymied. It's like there's an enemy like five meters away from him. Well, he can't go there and attack. Because he's got his stubby little legs. Well, I hope they're having fun over there. I hope they don't come up on the video, but... 
Anyways, I gotta cut this off because I'm going like 15 minutes of hatred. I don't hate the game. I'm just not having any fun. I think that should be the takeaway. Peace.